Hello, Alayda. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing, Josue? Okay. <laughs> he didn't listen to me. So, Alayda, tell me, how was your day? Hello. Hello, Hello. Hello, how are you? Fine, here. Um, I wish. Good, I, good. I wish to to have uh, your wall, your green wall. <laughs> ah yes, to uh, to project better the wallpaper, right? Exactly. <laughs> yeah. Nobody did that. I I that I see you very good. It's uh, I don't know England, maybe. Yes, it's England. Yeah. Ah, exactly. yeah, yeah. Very good. Hello, Maria Elena. Good evening. Hey. How are you, Maria Elena? Hello. 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 Well, um, fine. Uh, title, but happy. <laughs> yeah. Well, we are four. We need um, eight more. Maybe Gabriel. <laughs> What happened uh, with it? It's yeah. rare because it's eight with two and um, we are no more. Yeah, ah. okay. Hello, Rafael. Hello, guys. How are you doing? Ah, great, well, teacher. Welcome. How are you? Doing great, too. Ready? As always. As always, as usual. Good. We're going yeah. to. We're going to talk about that today. As always, as usual, what other expression, soon, you know, as soon as soon as the rest as soon as soon as soon as possible. As soon as possible, ASAP. Very good. ASAP. Yeah. ASAP. ASAP. That's ASAP. That's very yeah. as, as good as very, good. Yes. As very good. common in the in the business in the companies. Oh yeah. As as good as it gets. Okay, movie. yeah, that's the movie, right? Great movie, awesome movie. Uh, Jack Nicholson, right? Yeah, and Helen Hunt. I loved Helen Hunt when I was young. I used to watch Mad About You. Yeah, hey, Mad About You, yeah, exactly. <laughs> With Paul Schreiber or something like that. But, uh, yeah, this thing was really weird. Uh, 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 spell as uh, last name was Jush, you, you. Mm -hmm. class. Paul, Paul. I don't, I, I don't remember. Hi, Carla Eugenia. What's up? Hi, everybody. What's up? Everything is yeah. fine. Waiting for you. Waiting for you. you Hello, Carlita. Hey. Maria How are Soledad. you? She's drinking. Maria Soledad is drinking coffee. Yeah, live. Tea. Oh, no, I think she's drinking. Uh, Sorry, Rafa. Leave her say? alone. She's drinking a coffee. Ah, that is what we think, but mm, mm, maybe, yeah, maybe chocolate. Maybe, maybe it's vodka in there. Ah, no, I know. Yeah. Is like vodka? Vodka Wednesday. <laughs> you drink, Maria? Hola. Do you drink? Drink what? What? Water. water. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't drink. What are you drinking, Maria? What are you drinking? It's coffee. Water? Coffee. 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 Hey, where is the Samita? Let me see. Where is the Samita? Where's the Samita? <laughs> if I see that Samita, I I believe, I believe you. Yeah, where is believe... <laughs> the sweet coffee? Where's the sweet bread? <laughs> Where's the sweet bread? Okay, guys, so today let's open our class as we usually do, reviewing uh, the previous topics we've talked about. Um, I'm planning a question right now. Hmm. Okay, let's use a common expression, okay? I don't have enough just to this. Okay. Let me write it down first. Yes. And 
one second. The answer to this question will be very simple. Okay, so since we are just six, I want you to participate like crazy in this, um, this first part, okay? Make it bigger, okay. What is something you haven't had enough? What is something you haven't had enough in your life? What is something you haven't had enough mm. in your life? In my case, maybe football. Uh, come I need on. more football in my life. Yeah, but try to be more. Why? Uh, explain more. Give a lot. Okay. Be before, before this pandemic. How do you say pandemic? Pandemic. Before this pandemic. Uh, uh, before this pandemic, I played food, played football every Monday, but I have what six months without football. That is uh, the the more. Um, no, the longest, the longest time in my life without football, even more than uh, the time when I broke my leg. Broke. You, you broke your leg? Okay. Yeah. Well, my, I don't, I don't know what name for this, uh, the peroné. How do you say peroné? Peroné. Mm -hmm. Pironi. I have no. <laughs> the peroné. Pironi. Could be pironi. Okay, I haven't had enough football in my life. Okay. Before this whole pandemic. Pandemic time. Before this whole pandemic. Yeah. I used to play. Very every often. Monday. Very often. Or every Monday. Okay. Good. Okay, so there we're using um, we're using present perfect, and we're using enough. Okay, so thank you for breaking the ice, Alvin. Who is next? Uh, obviously, my dear Carlita. Thank you, Carlita. <laughs> I haven't had enough uh, friends. I love uh, friendship. Uh, we can know uh, very interesting people and uh, and every new experience I have I knew a uh, very special uh, friends and um, I think it's, it's the thing about me I, I, I love having friends meet new people and besides that uh, uh, just that just that okay good i've had great experiences you said and i've met great people okay but i still think that i haven't had enough friends i think you never have enough friends in your life and the few the few that you get to have uh you always think about them you know like are they my real friends because friends are just a few right but friends are just a few great job carlita you inspire me <laughs> okay who is next carlita um josue josue okay marvin josue what is some yeah something you haven't had enough in, enough of in your, in your life what is something you haven't had enough of in your life yeah well i think i haven't had enough uh, uh, travel right experience travel experience in my life i don't know why yes experiences yeah i don't know why maybe for uh for the for the time um I, I maybe I I have uh, um, be more um, let me see more uh, organizer person with my time to have have a have time right for enjoy uh, to enjoy to enjoy to enjoy uh, yeah to enjoy the travel maybe 
a new places is a, a good beginning, right? With a new, new places. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Um, knowing. Knowing new places. Excellent. Very good. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Just simple. Who's next? I think, let me see. Saida Hernandez. Right is here. Hello, Saida. Good evening. Oh, come on, why me? <laughs> why me? <laughs> okay, Saida. What's something you haven't had enough of in your life? Mm, I haven't had enough enough time for do I don't know. I haven't had enough time. To do what? For studies. To study. Study. Enough time for study. To study. To study. Uh -huh. To study. I, what I else? Will like to study. How do you say maestria? A master? Master. A master degree. A master degree. Mm -hmm. Okay. I haven't had enough time to study. Only that. Degree. Okay, that's it. Now, be careful. The question yes, is something you haven't had enough of in your life. <clears throat> I could tell I haven't, I haven't had enough money. I haven't had enough money. I have to get more money in my life. I haven't get enough love. <laughs> I need to get some more love in my life. For example, I haven't had enough kids. I only, I, I only have three kids. I haven't had enough kids. I need at least 10 more kids, you know. Okay. <laughs> Good. Let's see. A master degree in a master degree in something yep the master degree yes in, or i haven't had enough money to study a master degree repeat money 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 good yeah that is the um the reason why you haven't done this action right you haven't taken care of yes excellent very good time money whatever very good who is next, Saida? Alvin. Alvin, of course. Yes. I was the first. Yeah. <laughs> in fact, As he in was fact I, I was the first. Yeah. And, but I, uh, I, 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 I will select the next for you, Saida. No problem. No. no. I, I can't do that. Wait. I can assume this. <laughs> Jacqueline. Okay, Jacqueline. Jacqueline here. Welcome. 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 Hello. Hello. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, about. <laughs> oh, she just she just arrived. Okay. Something you haven't had enough of in your life. Look at the examples of your classmates. Uh -huh. I haven't had enough. I haven't had enough. I haven't had enough. Okay. <laughs> um, I haven't had enough to go to the mountains with my family. Okay. What? Time? Time to go, go to the mountains. Okay with my family. Okay, good, simple. Who is? Excellent, Francisco. <laughs> Hello. Okay, give us your shot. Uh, I haven't had enough money to buy a house. Okay. In my life. Okay, I have this year. This year. 
in my life. Mm -hmm. Look at the question. In your life, okay. Your life, so in my life, mm -hmm. I haven't had enough. No he tenido, right? I haven't had enough of mm -hmm. my life to buy a house. Okay. Oh, okay. What you're missing. There is one person that you haven't mentioned. There are some people still that haven't talked, Frank. Like Maria Elena, Maria Aleida. Aleida, and Gabriel. So who's next? Gabriel. Yes, Gabriel. What? <laughs> how do you, how do you say semana in English? I don't know. <laughs> what semana? <laughs> good. To good. your orders. To your orders. <laughs> <laughs> Gabriel, what is something you haven't had enough of in your life? Hmm. I haven't had enough time to go to visit Guatemala. Okay. In other places, okay. Yeah. Okay. Things that you're lacking. Things that you are lacking, okay? You're lacking fun. Uh, Carlita mentioned friends, okay? Um, I haven't had enough fun. I haven't had enough love. I haven't had enough money. I haven't had enough time. I haven't had enough food, okay? And so on, right? I think you got this the structure. I think you, you have got the structure. Why am I doing this exercise? Number one, we are checking the present perfect, the use of enough with nouns, okay? And also today, I will need your creativity. I will need you to be very creative because we're going to be talking about uh, expression. Very common expressions that Americans use in order to talk about, in order to give more details about what one is saying. So, um, you know, in 2001, if we wouldn't have had that change in our currency and go from pesos or colones, actually, I'm sorry, to dollars, um, economy, would be in better condition. What I'm saying is, or in other words, if we still had our currency, we will be richer maybe, or prices on the supermarket will be less expensive. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, but you, really think the the dollars of col or colones mm -hmm. yeah the, it's really a difference it makes a difference that's, that's makes a difference it makes a difference yeah that situation made a difference so what expressions did i use in other words and um did you get my point did you get my point could be uh, a clarifying question Sorry. <laughs> okay, so you got the point? Yes. The idea, okay, great job. Now we're 12, we're 11 actually. So this time I actually prepared something, but before doing that, I'm going to use, oh my God, there are so many stickers on the chat. Abigail, Giovanna, Francis. Thank you, Alvin. <laughs> That's cool, okay, okay. I'm going to go with what I told you before, an audio, a listening exercise, so you can pay attention to the class. Maybe we can get new vocabulary, okay? Yeah. 
Here we go. Okay. Let me share this. Just the audio. Okay. Here goes the audio. So pay attention. I love your blue bag. Thank you. I just bought it. It looks very expensive. It really wasn't. I bought it used online. It looks brand new. I know, and I saved $200. Wow, I wonder why they didn't want it anymore. I don't care. As long as it was cheap, I'll take it. Do you think I could find one online too? You probably could. They have everything online nowadays. That's true. I'm going to go look now. Good luck. Okay, let me play it again. Did you hear, right? Good? Okay, let me play it one more time. I love your blue bag. Thank you. I just bought it. It looks very expensive. It really wasn't. I bought it used online. It looks brand new. I know, and I saved $200. Wow, I wonder why they didn't want it anymore. I don't care. As long as it was cheap, I'll take it. Do you think I could find one online too? You probably could. They have everything online nowadays. That's true. I'm going to go look now. Good luck. Okay, question number one. What is the item that this girl bought? Blue bug. Blue bug. Uh, uh, blue bag. Very good. Okay. Hmm. Where, <laughs> where did she get it? Online. Online? Okay. Was it expensive? It wasn't expensive. How much was it? Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred dollar. Dollars. Very good. Okay. Hmm. Was it? New? Uh, you said no, right? It is, yeah. Was it new or used? Used. It used. was used. Okay. And how did it look? How did it look? A new brand. A new brand. A new, brand new. Very good. It looked brand new. That's the way you say, se mira como nueva. Okay. It looks brand new. Brand new. It looks brand new. It looks brand new. Very good. Um, translate the following sentence. Probablemente tú podrías. Probablemente. Probably you should. You could. Probably you could. Probably you could. You could. Okay. That's right. You probably could. You probably could. Okay. How do you say hoy en día in English? Nowadays. Nowadays. Excellent, guys. Great job. Okay. Let's go with another one. Please pay attention. Great job. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Can I ask for your opinion on something? Sure. What can I help you with? Do you think I would look better in the blue or the red dress? I don't think either one is good on you. Then what should I do? I think you should try on the yellow dress. But I hate the color yellow. Then maybe the purple dress would look nice too. I don't like purple either. Then I don't know how to help you. Okay, thanks for your opinion anyway. Excuse me, miss. Yes. Can I ask for your opinion on something? Sure. What can I help you with? Do you think I would look better in the blue or the red dress? I don't think either one is good on you. Then what should I do? I think you should try on the yellow dress. But I hate the color yellow. Then maybe the purple dress would look nice too. I don't like purple either. Then I don't know how to help you. 
Okay, thanks for your opinion anyway. Okay, question number one. How do you say de todos modos in English? Anyway. 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 If you want it, that's the way you need it. Okay, what was the problem? Can somebody tell me? You didn't know uh, what dress to choose. She didn't know. Excellent. She didn't know. She didn't know what dress. What dress to use? To to use. Okay. To use. Choose to or use. Choose. Uh huh. So what did the woman do? What did she do? Just to another woman. She asked the opinion for another woman. From another woman or to another woman to another woman to another woman was she a clerk was she a clerk at the shopping center what means a clerk what's the meaning of maybe what is a clerk frank vendedora yeah an assistant um responsible of... dependent that's the... dependent Dependent of the facility, uh, the place. Excellent, very good. Okay, what color was the woman, what dress color was the woman trying first? Red and blue. Excellent. Yellow. No, it was blue yes, first. First, red and blue. <laughs> what colors did the clerk um, suggest? Yellow and purple. And purple. Yellow. She and what happened with these colors? She was like, I she, she hates, hates like she hates. hates she dislike she hated she hated him. Listen, she hated him. She hated, she hated him. him. She hated him. Hated him. She hated him. Yeah, she hated him. Right. Excellent. Very good. Okay. So. <laughs> Hmm. That's it. Great job. Okay. Let's move on. So today we have some something else to do. And we're going to jump into the topic. How to use expressions to clarify your point of view or just anything that you want to say. And I already forgot something that I have to do. I'm sorry, guys. Give me one second. I have to follow these instructions. Give me one minute. Sorry about the leg. Give me just one minute, please. I'm going to check the attendance for the first time as we have to check it three times during the session as the requirement goes. One second. There you are. Okay, I'm gonna go with your names again as usual. I have Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. Here. Thank you. Marvin Jose Aguilar Martinez. Here. Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez Guzman. Okay, not here. Bertha Patricia Aleman de Argueta. Here. Thank you. Ismenia Abigail Trejo Hernandez. Ismenia Abigail is not here yet, right? Okay, she's not here yet. Xiomara Hernandez de Linky. Okay, Alvin Jose Silva Romero. That sounds like me. Okay. Hey, teacher. I saw Marilena somewhere. Oh, yeah. Teacher. I'm... Thank you. <laughs> hey, teacher. What? Jacqueline. I didn't mention you. Yeah, I haven't got there yet. Wait. Lunisa oh, okay. Jimenez. Good evening, here. <laughs> Alexander Ramos. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderon. Here, teacher. Thank you. 
José Ernesto Molina Guzmán, Melissa Ivette Aguilar Flores, Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. It's me. Thank you, Saida Carolina Hernandez Flores. Here. Thank you, Walter Abraham Hernandez Sanchez. Francisco Adrián Martinez Villalobos. Here. Maria Soledad Gomez. Here. Thank you, Vanessa Alexander Ortiz Cedillos. And Aleida Raquel Vasquez Uncin. Here, teacher. Let me do something really quick. Let me see. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, one second. I just want to make sure that all of you have your doing name. Sorry. So I want to miss this part. And there we go. Okay. Great. Let's move on. So to continue with the class, I'm going to share with you a presentation really quick. So, how to use expressions to clarify a point. Okay, this is very simple. We will need right now pencil, paper, and your creativity. Okay, interesting. Okay, we will need, again, pencil, paper, and your creativity for the following topic. Okay. Good. So, you're ready, I guess. Let's go with the explanation, okay? With the grammar explanation. Um, I will ask one of your, uh, one of our classmates to read this for us, please. Okay. First, the first. Go ahead. Okay. Mm. Okay. Uh, no, okay. You cannot see it? Oh, no. Yes, but it's a little bit. Uh, no, no, it's okay. Um, sometimes, right? Sometimes we need to introduce right hmm. no 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 oh how, how do you, how do you use expressions to clarify a point look at the examples in the box then complete the exercises below that's on your book on page 34. okay go ahead marvin i will follow you okay uh, beginning with the, the number one right with some times we need. Ah, okay, okay. Sometimes we need to introduce a clarif clarification, explanation, or explication, right? Of so, our our ideas. Of our ideas, as we. Our ideas, as we. Okay. Marin. Hello, use, right, speak, use in other words, that is to say simply put, etc., to make your point clear to others. Perfect, very good. Okay, let's go with number one, Jacqueline. Jacqueline. Okay, sorry. <laughs> uh, one way to help you target market like and trust you is to publish often drops online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Okay, good. You're reading for the book, I guess. Good. Okay. So, in other words, this is the uh, expression to clarify the first statement so these are just expressions guys just like like in spanish right um ayer no hubo partido lo que te quiero decir es que 
llovió. Lo que te quiero decir es que llovió. Ese es lo que te quiero decir. That's basically it. You know, like common expressions that you typically use to, to give yourself understand better. Okay? So one way to help your target market like and trust your is to publish often through online channels. In other words, write a blog that informs, entertains, and educates. Okay? Let's go with number two, Eunice de la Paz. Okay, but please close a little bit. Zoom in. <laughs> please zoom. Yes. Please zoom in. There you go. Okay. Okay. Thank you. You can increase your rating as an expert and reach a broader market by developing a podcast that is that is to say record your talks and allow 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 <laughs> and allow your customers to to download repeat download it download it download it download it download it Download it. Perfect. Okay. Roll the market. Repeat. Record. 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 Okay. Hey, be careful with this word. Okay. It has two meanings. It is yes. two meanings. If you say record, that is a, a golden record. For example, a Guinness record. A Guinness record. But if you say record, is to record with a camera. Okay. Okay. Good. Okay. Record. Yes. Or maybe record uh, an, a song or an album. Record a song, record an album. That's right. Record. Record. Great job. Okay. Let's see who's next. Jonathan, number three. Okay. Brand recognition happens when a consumer. Wait, 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 wait. Come again. When a when a consumer is able to identify to, ident uh, uh -huh, to identify able to identify a certain certain product or service by by you by, sorry by viewing 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 the product logo perfect okay the product's logo thank you very much so where is the uh where is the phrase here? Hold on. Brand recognition happens when a consumer consumer is able to identify a certain product or service by viewing the product's logo. I think by will be the um, the expression to clarify the idea. Okay. Hmm. Let's see. Oh, hold on. We moved, we moved to the previous um, example. <laughs> okay, sorry guys, we were missing there. I, my bad, that was my mistake. Okay, number three was today's customers are looking for warranties. Simply put, exceptional service after they have purchased your product, okay? Another free marketing source or resource, I'm sorry, another free marketing resource for your current internet customers is inviting them to participate in a social network site, namely a Facebook group. What is namely? Can somebody tell me what is namely? 
Llamadamente. <risa> no. Conocido. Ah, oh, come on, use English. Okay, a social network. Noun as. <laughs> um, it's like when you say, just to mention, just to mention Facebook. For mention now. Uh huh. Uh, no, just to remember that we are trying to give another idea, right? So, namely, is like, for example, a Facebook. Llamado. Reference. Namely, uh -huh, as reference, exactly. Also known as Facebook group, for example. Okay, the ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you. Okay, I repeat. The ultimate marketing goal is to have your target market think of you this is or this i'm sorry this means or which means so you can say this means or which means that you must focus on satisfying customers needs okay so what is the meaning of this means or which means Esto significa or which means um, lo cual lo, lo cual, cual significa uh -huh. excellent lo, lo cual significa yeah. very good so these are the expressions now there is a lot of expressions that you can use and I said we needed paper pencil and your creativity because we're going to do a lot of those today let's start with your book. Let me see something really quick. Where is this? Sorry. This is on page 35. Page 35 on your workbook, on your student's book. And let's complete this part together, okay? I will split you in groups so you can add the expressions required to make more sense to the um, sentences. So. If you notice the first example, one way to increase brand awareness is to generate online advertising. Simply put, social networking sites. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. And then here, you need to use an expression. Okay, wow, let's see. Okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, you just need to add an expression in the middle of the sentences of both sentences for it to be a more a conversational thing, okay? So let me send you the image right now to the group and I'm going to split you in small teams so you can do it together and make more sense, okay? Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay, I have it. I receive it. I will share the the screen. Okay. Okay. Pam pam pam. Pam 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 pam. pam. Okay. Can you see it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Uh, the number two. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. That means the consumer knows that a particular brand exists. How do you think about uh, that, uh, that word? That, that means, means? I think sounds right. Right? Sounds right. Yes. That means. Sounds 
Be my guest. Who? Number three. Brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a cer certain product or service. Uh, by viewing the product slow. Uh, by example. <laughs> by example. For example. Another word. Thank you. Gabriel, what do you say? What do you say? In other words. For example. For example. Okay. okay. Number three, for example. Okay, number four. Gabriel, is yours. This brand have become well known. They have replaced the common term for, for similar products in our language. Um, I think in other words, in this case. <laughs> yes, in other words, they have replaced the common term. Uh, well, no, in other words, they, ha they have replaced the Common term. Uh, uh, read again, everybody. Read again the the sentence. This, this brand, brand have become, become well known. In other words, in other words, hmm. they have replaced the common they have replaced term. The common term similar products similar in product. our language. Language. Hmm. Yes, in other words. Sounds words. good. Sounds good, okay. In other words. Okay. Um, the sentences, if you can. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> I, I understand. <laughs> okay, the, the, the structures. Structures. Structures? <laughs> structures. Structures. Okay. Cheers. Thank you. You're welcome. Teacher, it's, it's um, a little difficult <laughs> the to, first one, I guess. To, to identify. Maybe we need to, to catch the context, right? <laughs> Yes, you get the context, that's right. You have, in other words, namely, this means, in other words, okay, simply put, and just by looking at, for example, <clears throat> for example, when you say simply put, you will understand these words like simplemente pon, right, simply put, for you is like simplemente the pong. Mm -hmm. But in this con, uh, it means uh, something else. It means en pocas palabras. In a few words. So that, that's the idea. We will see a lot of examples, don't worry. You can get it. Okay. The number two teacher uh, could be Mm, in other words, yeah. uh huh. In other words, that's right. And then number three, it could be this means. Mm, yeah. Recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. This means my view in the products logo. Mm. Mm, no, namely. Namely, yeah, by viewing namely. logo. Namely, by viewing the product logo. Mm -hmm. namely, namely means es decir. 
Mm. Okay. Mm. Good job. Inside that, what do you think? Four. Uh, in other words, the number four. Yeah. Then this the brand has become well known. Excellent. Very good. Keep going. Yeah. No teacher. Number three, it's a uh, that is to say. That is to say. That is no number four is that is to say. Ah, okay, so, number yes, three. number four, number four. Yeah, yeah. Four. yes, mm -hmm. that is to that, say. That, that is to say, yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I think that's okay. Okay, read one sentence, each one. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. Maria? Brand rec recognition is a very important element of brand awareness. In the other words, the cost consumer knows that a particular brand exists. Number three, brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service which means by viewing the product's logo. Yes, these brands have become well known. That is to say, they have replaced the common terms to similar products in our language. And number five, Eu. To have to publish high quality Quality content. Simply put, simply put by creating by valuable, 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 valuable <laughs> content to be introducing to new audience. audiences. 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 Say valuable, value. Valuable. 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 Okay, and then. Valuable content. Audiences. 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 Yeah, audience. audiences. audiences. So you have the audience. Audiences. Audience. Audiences. 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 Good job. Okay, let's go. Okay. okay. Everybody wants to love somebody sometime. Just say everybody wants to rule the world. Okay. Hmm. So let's go. Let's see what do we have here. I wanted to share something with you. Will you do it? Okay. So what do you got for number two? That means. That means, okay. Mm. Brand recognition is a very important element of brand That means, or no, particular brand could be that means definitely. okay what about about in other words in other words the consumer knows that a particular brand exists okay good let's go with number three brand recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service which means 
which means by viewing the product's logo, lo que significa. For example. For example, by viewing the product's logo, buying recognition happens when a consumer is able to identify a certain product or service. For example, yeah, for example, by viewing the product's logo. Mm -hmm. Namely, what about namely, by viewing the product's logo? What is the meaning of namely again? What does namely mean? Namely. Please. Uh, it was. Uh, principalmente, no? Yes. Yeah. yeah. I think so. Principalmente. Okay. <laughs> number four. Let's go with number four. These brands have become well known. In other words, perfect, Marie Elena. Thank you. These brands have become well known. In other words, they have replaced the common terms for similar products in our language. Excellent. And number five, you have to publish high quality content. <laughs> there what do you got there nobody what expression go better there no oh, no idea okay simply put simply put call For me means like like if you want to explain in a few words in a few words that will work too that will work too yeah by creating valuable content to be introduced to the new to new audiences now i'm going to send you the way based on your book you know whoever designed the book consider that this was the right way that was the right way two three four five in four, you had the option of this means, or in other words. Now, I want to move on, okay? Because I want you to create your own examples. And then we will do a, a practice at the end of these examples, at the end of this grammar part. But before we go any farther, sorry. Before we go any farther, one more time. Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. Here. Thank you. Marvin Jose Aguilar Martinez. Here. Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez Guzman. He said he was coming, but he hasn't come. Okay. Uh, Bertha Patricia Lemán de Guetta. Here. Thank you. Ismenia Abigail Trejo Hernández. Not here. Okay. It's Xiomara Hernandez de Linky. No. Alvin Jose Silva Romero. Here. Thank you. Marilena Tamayo Ventura. Yes, yeah, sir. Eunice de la Paz Jimenez. Here. Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. Here, teacher. Thank you. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderón. Here, teacher. Jose Ernesto Molina Guzmán. No, Melissa Ivette Aguilar Flores. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here. Carolina Hernandez Flores. Here. Walter Abraham Hernandez Sanchez. Francisco Adrián Martínez Villalobos. Here. María Edad Gómez. Here. Vanessa Alexandra Ortiz Díos. Aleida Raquel Vázquez Uncín. Here. Thank you. Ok, una... Um, un paréntesis acá en español. Esta semana es nuestra última semana y es necesario que el viernes no se lo pierdan por nada del mundo, aunque juegue el Barça contra el Real. Vea, o sea, 
Ustedes tienen que estar aquí. ¿Ok? ¿Por qué? <ríe> no es paja, no fue el real caso. No va a pasar. <ríe> Creo. No sé, no soy fan. Ok, el punto es, estar acá es muy importante el viernes. Ante todo, hay que ir completando las tareas de la plataforma, comentar en los foros, para cerrar bien el módulo. ¿Sí? Y pues, ánimo, ¿eh? Let's move on. Let's continue. The finish the platform teacher. Yeah, I noticed. 100%. I noticed, Gabriel. Great job. Gabriel finished the platform. Okay, good guys. So this is your turn. This is your turn to shine, okay? We're gonna do a lot of exercises right now. And we're gonna go one by one with the expressions. Some expressions are phrases. Some expressions are adverbs, okay? And so on and so forth. So the first one we have is, after all, we used this uh, phrase when giving a reason to explain what you have just said. Okay, for example, okay, for example, can somebody help me? After all, I love you. Okay, good. So, I forgive you from the bottom of my heart. That sounds so Britney Spears. <laughs> Sorry. After all, after all, I love you. Okay, you got the meaning? So, you're explaining um, that after all, you know, you cannot be so mean of not forgiving someone right so i forgive you from the bottom of my heart after all i love you. explaining why the reason is that clear yeah excellent i get it that in red okay good okay let's move on and guess i can make this bold okay let's go with the next one as okay as This is an adverb, and it is used for giving the reason for something. Mm -hmm. Love you as a friend. Sorry, again, I love, that's cruel. I love you <laughs> as a, <laughs> that's a good one. I, I love so you hard. <laughs> yeah, that's as, a, as a sister. <laughs> Okay, come on, guys, you're cruel, you're mean. He was even more cruel. Yeah. Friendzone. As, as you say. Uh -huh. Friendzone. Oh, excellent. Let's add that. As you said. Maybe once as well. Okay, as you said once. Okay, I love you as a friend. As you said once. That is a uh, uh, give back. Um, payback. 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 That's right. That is payback. Hey, I like that expression. Yeah. That's payback. Revenge. Okay. So many years later, that girl. Vergoña. Yeah. No importa de eso. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Oh, this thing doesn't move. Oh, no, it doesn't move. Okay. So look at the examples, right? As, given the reason for something, as a friend, you. the reason is that I love you as a friend. Um, as you said once, okay? As you said once, así como tú, he said nice. Okay, good job. Let's move on. Once a time, only once. Once upon a time is for tales. Once upon Once upon a time is for tales, for telling tales. Cuentos, right? Okay. Una vez. Yes. Uh, that's Once it. upon a time. Uh -huh. As you said. In a far, far away. <laughs> that's Shrek. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. As a matter of fact, this is very common, guys. That one is very common. 
as a matter of fact. Okay, Frank. You're a bad girl. You are a bad girl. As a mother, uh, yes, yeah, as a mother of fact, I love you. Wait. Mm. Hmm. As a matter of fact, it's not, um, no importa, de hecho, te amo. O sea, as a matter of fact. Mm. De hecho, no, no importa. Uh, as a matter of fact. Let's look at the description. It is used when you are going to disagree with or correct what has just been said. And Gabriel, Gabriel is using this part. Gabriel is using this example. He corrected what has just been said. I love you. And then a pause. I love you. As a matter of fact, no, oh no, I'm sorry. It's the opposite. You're a bad girl, you know. You're a terrible woman. <laughs> and then, as a matter of fact, I love you. That's careful with Okay, so you said it's an as a matter of fact, as a matter of fact, I can't be with you anymore. Oh, good, good. You're disagreeing with what you just said. Okay, exactly. That's another example. Great job. Okay, okay, but let's write something less offensive. <laughs> okay, <laughs> as an example. Okay, give me an example. Okay. Okay. What do you think about that? Barcelona team will win the match, the next match. As a matter of fact, they are in place. Sounds right? Sounds right. Okay. For the following example, as if. Now, pay attention to the explanation, okay? As if. It is used when you are describing something and you imagine an explanation for it that you know is not the real one. It's not the real one. So let me give you an example. Okay. You are eating a lot today. As if you were the worst end. As if you were going to die. Uh -huh. Tomorrow. As if, as if the world ends today. As if the world ends today. Good. Okay. You're eating a lot today. If the, you were, we were going to die tomorrow. As if the world mm. would end today. You are so happy. As if El Salvador will go into the next World Cup. Was going to the next World Cup. Good. Excellent. So this is a supposition, you know, as if. And you're explaining. And that's a phrase. As if. Okay. Let me move on with the next one. There's a lot of examples that I'm going to give you right now. I hope you find this useful. And the last one here is as much as anything. Carlita, how do you use this? Use for look, use for saying that something is one of the main reasons for a situation or a feeling, etc. As much as anything. As much as I love you. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I if, have to go. You have to go. <laughs> I love as much as I love myself. Good. That's a selfish thought. I love you as much <laughs> as I love myself. So I don't love you. <laughs> okay. 
okay as much as I love myself. Good. I loved you as much as the stars. I hate you as much as I love myself. I don't know. So you got the point? As much as anything? Anything. Yeah, anything is like the the um the compliment. The compliment of that sentence. Okay. Let's move. Next. Oi. This one doesn't look too good. Okay, at bottom. Hmm. I don't like that one too much. But still, I want to show it to you. Let's go with the first one. Okay, at bottom. This is. It is used when explaining the basic cause or nature of something. Hmm. Think of an example. Mm -hmm. So, this is like saying the main reason why this happened, you know, was this, this, and that. Okay, so. Hmm. I have no money because of this whole Oh, pandemic. At bottom. And out of work. For example. So, it's like the root cause of the issue. I have no money because, this is misspelled, right? Okay, because of this whole pandemic, at bottom, I ran out of work a long time ago. Okay. Now, because is also another conjunction that you can use, sorry. And it's just to introduce facts that explain this, the, the why you are saying that, let me see. Why do you believe that something is true? Because, oh, sorry, this is another one of the mainly spoken. Okay, so can somebody tell me an example with because? Hello. That's why, because, um, because you are always out of the house. We have all these problems because you are always out of the house of this house okay we have all this problem because you are always out of the house i like that this is i'm not hungry because i eat too much at lunch i ate too much okay i'm gonna eat too much i'm not hungry I'm really i have to go to the bank because i have to pay the bills I had to go to the bank because I had to pay the bills. Very good. You can also say I had. Carlita, I'm not hungry because I had too much lunch. Too much at lunch. I have too much lunch. Too much. Too much at lunch. At lunch or for lunch as well. Okay. Mainly spoken. Mm, introducing facts that explain why you. Let me see. Why to believe that something is true. Okay, um, you know, La Ciguanaba does exist. Mainly spoken is an urban legend, but still I believe that she exists. Okay, mainly spoken, I have seen her twice in my life. <laughs> okay, use for giving. <laughs> That's mainly spoken, principalmente hablando. Hmm. Okay, being. Use for giving an explanation of something. Uh, for example, a, a laptop is a great mechanism, you know, to type really fast. Being a being a, a great source for teach. Uh huh. Green, for a, teach. Being a great source for teaching, for example. Uh huh. Being a great. Source. Mean means siendo. 
Siendo, excellent, very good. It's the same as Spanish, great job. Okay. And we're still not done yet. Okay, besides, that's one of your favorites, most likely, okay? Besides, can somebody give me an example? Use when you are adding another stronger reason, to, sorry, to support what you're saying. When you're adding another stronger reason to support what you're saying. That is simple. It's very simple. Gabriel. Mm -hmm. I'm happy because you're beside me. Oh, okay, wait. That is, that is a preposition. You're using beside, oh, beside is a preposition. You're beside me, okay? Don't add an S, uh, okay? Beside, beside. I, there's a difference. I had no idea. I had an idea, yeah? And, and you have besides, it's two, set, two different things. I'm happy besides I'm alive. Okay, let's make it longer, Jacqueline. I am happy. Happy besides I am alive. Let's make it longer because I'm alive and besides it's my birthday. Oh, okay. You got it? Ah, uh, se acerca. Yeah, no, besides <laughs> is Hmm. Besides this, hmm. además, a very natural way of using besides as well is plus. Okay, plus, it's my... Messi, me, Messi will stay in Barcelona uh, because uh, he have a, a contract right now. Besides, Manchester City don't give money for him. Doesn't give him money, doesn't give him money. Has, has, has. Okay. Messi will stay with who? <laughs> I forgot. I'm sorry. I lost. I lost it. Manchester. No, Messi will uh, will stay in Barcelona because he have a current contract. Yeah. And uh, no, besides, besides, uh, Manchester Manchester City uh, don't will give money for him. Won't give him money. Won't give him money. Um, give him oh. money. Okay. Good. Check this video, Alvin. Okay. By extension, used for explaining that a particular person or thing is affected by something only because they are connected to what you have just mentioned. I got lost. Okay. Used for explaining that a particular person or thing is affected by something only because they are connected to what you have just mentioned. I got lost with this one. We should look for an example. No, no, no. I, you I, have, have a, I have an example. Mm -hmm. You never be, you know, you are, uh, you was never been in my, in my class You're, for extension. extension. You are, you are out of my, uh, my class now. <laughs> oh, good. Okay. For extension, that sounds a little heavy, yeah. You are never, are never, yeah, that's kind of the reason, yeah. You are never in my class for extension. You are out of my class. <laughs> out. From. Out. For extension or by extension? By extension. Sorry. Or by my extension. By extension. By extension, you are out. Wow. Can you imagine a teacher saying that? You are never in my class. By extension, you're out. Wow. Okay. I out. remember my teacher at university. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, very hard. St very strict. <laughs> but yes, if you... Uh, if you don't attend the class on time, uh, uh, many teachers don't uh, open. don't open the door. Oh my God, that's old school. That's old school behavior. Old school behavior. In UCA. 
Ah, uh, en Oca. Eh, no, eh, El Salvador. Wow. <risa> Duca, <risa> so well. possible. So possible. <risa> Aduca happens to. Yeah, I know. <risa> I can begin to imagine that happening to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it is used for emphasizing that something is very difficult to imagine, under, understand, etc. So it, you can use it the way I did. Man. So somebody's telling you a tell just the way Frank was doing, right? And then you go like, wow, I can begin to imagine, you know, I can begin to understand what you what you went through frank wow okay emphasize that something is very difficult to to believe okay i can begin to understand i can begin to explain okay and this is when you're narrating something for example uh the robber jumped into the bus you know and he took off his gun and he was yelling at everyone you know and i I couldn't believe, I couldn't begin to understand what was going on. And then he approached me and you're to continue narrating uh, the, the uh, facts, how did that happen? Do you got that one? Did you get it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Now this is very formal. This is used in official statements for explaining that something unexpected has happened, okay, that will prevent an event or situation from continuing normally. For example, due to unforeseen circumstances, okay, which is what we are... nunca vistas. Not nunca vistas, unforeseen, imprevistas. Imprevistas. Cuidado, no es imprevistos, esto es imprevistas. Desprevenido, imprevisto, no sé cómo lo podías conjugar en español. But this is what we're going through right now. Um, and you can use it at the beginning of a sentence. Due to on for sin, um, sir, sir, is a Z. Sir comes, my God, circumstances, government. Um, V or V, I could go government uh, has used part of the national budget or else. Okay. The two unforeseen circumstances, the government has used part of the national budget for health which is what we're going through, right? Unforeseen circumstances, COVID-19. Is that clear? Yeah. For example, Nana storms. Nana storms, yeah. Yeah, during Nana storms due to unforeseen circumstances, the government has to do something, okay. Uh, uh -huh. National budget for National budget. other budget for other budget that's right okay explain pandemia is an explain verb that explains that use okay explain we use when you want someone to understand and forgive you okay okay let me explain that's an expression let me explain what happened was this this and that okay can you give me an example somebody else Who? Eunice, Jacqueline, Ricardo, Marvin, Jonathan, Maria Soledad. Let me explain. Let's turn on your cameras. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let me explain. Let me explain. You are not um, standing. You're not. My st question. You're not understanding my question, okay? Good. Let me explain. If you don't participate on the class, okay. 
for example, okay, let's go with the next one. For example, that's the easiest one and the one that you use the most. For example, use when mentioning something that shows the type of thing that you are talking about and helps to explain what you mean. Okay. Okay, learning English is easy. For example, you can listen to music in English all day and that will help you. Can somebody give me another example? Um, maybe uh, you have a healthy life, practice different sports, sports. for mm -hmm. example, Swimming pool. Swimming in the pool. Running. Run. Swimming in the pool, yeah. Running. Jogging. Um, climbing. Climbing. Yeah. Perfect. Et cetera. Et cetera. Okay, now, for example, guys, you can use as well, for instance, it's the same thing. For example and for instance are the same thing. Okay. You should learn English. For instance, you should go to Inglés Corporativo to learn English. Okay, for instance, for example. Good. And I think this is the last one for one reason or another. Um, let's say that Alvin doesn't come to class anymore, you know, never here. And one day we think about him and we say, hey, where is Alvin, right? Well, Alvin, doesn't come to classes anymore for one reason or another he just stopped coming to classes for one reason or another can somebody translate that to spanish por una u otra razón yeah for one reason yeah okay for one thing use when mentioning one reason for something as an example when there are several reasons Okay, so can somebody give me an example on that one? It's not exactly for one reason, okay? What you have to do is replace, you have to replace this part. And for example, let's say they fired, they fired one of your coworkers. Hey, where's Mario? Oh, Mario was fired be for stealing money. Mario was fired for stealing money, for sleeping during the shift. Yeah, for. Mainly, this is the expression with ing. Okay. Is that clear? Boring. Boring. Yes. Yes. Okay. Good. It's easy. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. And the same example as are over here for one thing or for another thing okay for for another reason he left he was let go one thing or mm -hmm. another exactly yes it's a, it's a song right no 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 it says one way <laughs> another another yes i get you get you get you get you one way for blondie one, one. blondie <laughs> thank you that's the name thank you for reasons of economy, safety, security, etc. Okay, we are not attending the English course on live classes for security reasons, for safety reasons in this case. Yep, for safety reasons. Can somebody give me another example for? You have to use the mask. For security, for safety, or for safety. Safety. Safety, I'm sorry. Safety. For safety. For, sec or for security of us. Security purposes, that's right. Security. Okay. Questions. Uh, Patricia, I haven't heard you. I haven't heard you during the whole class. Uh, Marilena is so quiet. Jacqueline, you're very quiet today. Carla, Carla has spoke to Jonathan, Ricardo, Maria Soledad, 
Alida, where's Alida? You're taking notes, okay. Mm -hmm. For want of a better world, this is a phrase, better phrase, better term, used for saying that you cannot think of a more exact way of describing or explaining what you mean. You know, I cannot find a better way to say this. Uh, for want of a better word. For want of a better word. Por querer decir una mejor palabra, por querer decir una mejor frase, por querer decir una mejor, usar un mejor término. Uh, a ver, decírtelo de, de, en otras palabras. Yes. No. Mm, sort of, yeah. It is very similar. For want of a better phrase so it's like if i were to tell you if i wanted to use a different word i will say okay that's difficult now this one guy te lo, te lo uh -huh. yes go ahead gabriel quiero decirte lo de la mejor forma mejores palabras Okay. Dicho de una mejor manera. Is that the translation? Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, yes, it's good. You don't like me anymore for one of, of a better term. I'm breaking up with you. Okay. Just doing more. Por decirlo de otra manera, por querer, por decir, usar una mejor, un mejor término, por, des, por querer usar un mejor término. Yeah. Now, this one. I, E. I don't know if you have noticed on some texts, it says IE, in example. In example. And it is used when you're explaining exactly what you mean by something. So, in say, example. In example. IE. Yeah, mostly you will see it in writing. You cannot say IE. When you're speaking, you cannot say IE, <laughs> but you can say. What means EG? I E. Oh, E G? Excellent. Mm -hmm. Thank you. E G means example given. Thank you. Example given. And of course, they will give you the example too. Example given is the same as in example. British, British people use E G. Americans use IE. Mm, that's why. And that's why you have seen it, most likely. Yeah, example given, and then they come up with some set of examples. Um, what means OG? OG? No, I haven't seen that one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Maybe OE, other examples, I don't know. Okay. So you see, guys, there's a lot of expressions that you can use, and you can even find out more you continue, you see? Oh, that's a very useful one. See here? I mean, used for adding a comment or explanation, what um, explaining or explaining what you have just said. For example, in gringos, <laughs> Americans, they don't have a way to say te quiero. This is a dilemma for you because you don't have a way to say te quiero. If I tell, I don't know, Jacqueline or Carla, if I tell you, or even Alvin, if I tell you, I love you. It's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> right? I mean, as a friend. I mean, <laughs> exactly. I mean, as a friend. Yeah. Even deep, they have to explain that, you know, I mean, 
as a friend. Um, if I tell you, can you borrow me five dollars, or can I borrow five dollars from you? Can I borrow five dollars from you? I mean, can I lend you five dollars? Can I lend you five dollars? So borrow means that I will pay you. If I borrow money from you, I will pay you. But if I say lend, lend, okay, it means that I'm not going to pay you, never, okay. <laughs> you got it? Yes. Okay. I was wondering what is what is the difference between borrow, those words. Borrow and lend. Now I get it. <laughs> Be careful, <laughs> okay. And that's very native. That's very native, Carla. Okay. So in case, in case you didn't know, Carla, just in case you didn't know, that's the difference between, see? And that's the way you use in case, uh, used for exam, explaining why you are doing something. Okay. Um, pull, up, pull up in case of emergency. Break the door in case of emergency. Yeah, break the, the glass. Break. Oh, pull up, uh, como, por ejemplo, jale, ¿verdad? Yeah, pull, pull, in uh, push, 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 push in case of emergency. Push off in case of, mer of emergency. It, yeah. I will be, I will be here in case you want to come back. You need to me. me. In case you need me. In case you need me. That's right. I'll be here in case you need me. Okay, Frank Sinatra. In other words, use for introducing another way of saying or explaining something. Just as you notice in the example. Just as you notice in the example before. Okay. In other words. In other words, it says fly me to the moon. Right? In other words. I love you. In other words, hold my hand. In other words, I love you. That's right. Okay. In that, use for introducing an explanation of what you have just said, showing in what way it is true. In that case, let me tell you if that's the way you use it, in that case. Okay, I will move on, guys, because this is too long. In the first place, use for stating the most basic reason for something. Okay, in the first place, we're talking about this um, this um, topic because it's very useful for you. You need to know about expressions in the first place. Okay, in primer lugar. I think that is for a discussion with your with your uh, wife or your husband. <laughs> yeah, wife. I'm married with a wife. Thank you. Yeah, in the first place, I'm married with a wife. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, in the interest of something, this is very used to, in the, in the interest of kids, we are not getting divorced. In order to preserve, develop, mm -hmm. or achieve something. Okay, in the interest of humanity, they have developed a new vaccine against COVID-19. What is it, Chiva? Achieve. What is achievement? What does that mean, achieve, teacher? What mean of achieve, reach. To get. To reach. To get something. To get something. Alcanzar. Más que alcanzar una estrella. Oui. Okay, you got it? Yes. Yes, Capetillo. Great, okay. Yes. Okay, guys, let's go with. Who are you? Brand, 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 brand. Okay, increase brand awareness. We're almost done. Actually, we only have 15 minutes, so I will go through this really quick. Uh, tomorrow, we will continue with this topic, with awareness topic. But let me go through it really quick, just to give you an idea of what is coming. And try to practice the, um, the expressions, okay? So investing in brand awareness as a small and medium business. Let me know if you don't know one of these words, please. Okay, growth is a benchmark of success in a company. But 
as a small business, okay, small business, where do you even start? Where do you even start a small business? The problem is not one really knows about your company or who you are, at least not yet. They don't know who you are. What you need is a brand, a whoa, 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 jet. You want to stand out among a sea of competitors, but you have no idea how. What you need is a brand awareness strategy, okay? Whether you admire companies like Google or Apple for their massive strides, both, those companies started out as unknowns. Nobody knew Google or Apple. It was through time, hard work, and perseverance that today's major brands have grown to be the household names they are today. New words. Household. Household. Okay. What is it? These are households, are terratenientes, lugartenientes, the ones that held the big, the biggest influence. Google it. To be the household names they are today. It's a synonym of monsters, let's say. Okay. Must try this teacher. Come again. Massive strides. Massive strides. 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 For their massive strides. Okay, Google Apple for their massive strides. Whether you admire companies like Google or Apple for their massive strides. What is it? Can somebody help me? Because I don't know. Massive strides. Hmm. Strides. I'll do it first. <laughs> Let's see who Strides. gets it. First. Massive strides. Ancada, stranco, uh huh. That doesn't make sense. Pasos, Pasos masivos. Masivos. Okay, so they were able to grow really fast. A grandes pasos. A grandes pasos. Huge steps. Yes. Okay, both those companies are started as started out as unknowns. Okay, it was through time hard work for that today major brands have grown to be the household names they are today. I'm still wondering. Hmm. Hmm. Household names. I will say that they are very familiar. That's a synonym of very familiar too. Okay. As we discuss brand awareness, what is brand awareness? It's just that, it's the effort of pushing your company to the forefront of people's minds through marketing. What is a forefront? What is the forefront? Thank you, Alvin. A la cabeza. Yeah. Of people's minds. Their forefront. Through marketing, design, and customer service. Perhaps. Give me a synonym of perhaps. Maybe. Excellent. You don't quite become a household name. At least not yet. Now, a household name sounds like a familiar name, a top of the mind, remember, a top of the mind uh, brand, something that everyone recognized, okay, at least not yet. But most of people are at least aware of your existence. It's a goal every small business aspires to, aspires, Aspirar. Excellent. Aspirar. And I want to be? And one you want to achieve. Achieve again. Alcanzar, right? 
Okay, everyone wants to be. I think there's not much difficult vocabulary here. Forefront is like ahead, in front of people's minds. Let's move on. How can you measure brand awareness? Okay, how can you measure brand awareness? Brand awareness exposure doesn't happen overnight. What is overnight? Trasnochado. Trasnochar, trasnochando, or from one day to another, right? From one night to the next one. By following the tricks and pointers we're about to share in this next section, you should see growth in feats and spurts. Feats and spurts. Thank you, feats and spurts. <laughs> I know, fits and spurts. Go ahead. Ataques y chorros. Okay. You shall see growth in fits and spurts. Okay. So, a chorros. Best way to track how you're progressing, we recommend using analytics software. Okay, from one brand mentions on social media to website traffic and searches for your company name or product. This should all increase as your brand awareness campaign succeeds. So in other words, you have to hire someone to look at the, the progress of your brand awareness campaign. And as we mentioned before, you can use many um, strategies to increase brand awareness. The first one, make an infographic or two. In case you don't know what is an infographic, we have seen it, right? Sorry, Frank. Uh, teacher, uh, I I have a question. What is the meaning of uh, tricks and pointers? Thank you. Okay, tips are what is tips? Suggestions, ideas, right? Tips? Yeah. Yes. Tricks, trucos. Trucos. Mm -hmm. And pointers? What is pointers? I can think of it in Spanish right now. Apuntadores. Apuntadores, something like that. It's like. Uh, indicadores. Thank you, Jonathan. Thank you. Pointers, indicadores. So make an infographic or two. Let's start with a nice inbound marketing tip. So how to jump into the marketing part. Infographics are shareable. Shareable, you can share them. Appealing, hmm. everybody likes infographics, okay? Graphics that compress several points of information into one easy to reference image. So it's one image full of information. Any company's blog worth its salt has probably posted an infographic to support a stat a time or two. Okay, I have two words here. Worth. What is worth? Something is vale. Vale. Valer. Any, so any company's blog worth it's salt, in this context, worth it's salt. Que valga su sal. Hmm. Cualquier compañía de, blo de bloques o de blogs que valga su sal. That's an expression, okay? Worth yeah. it's salt. Que valga su sudor, pues. Has probably posted an infographic to support a stat. What is a stat? Estadística. To support a stat, statistic or status. A time or two. So, their status. He, he, he speak about the, the numbers about the actual numbers, about an information they're posting. So for example, what's your status right now? What's your status in Facebook? 
and I'm not talking about being Marius. single or married. Marius. In your case, yes, you're single or married, widow, but a company posts a status every day. Your status, your status, okay. We do it all the time here on this block. Well, on the block where I took this from. Okay, here's a brand awareness example in case you want to see one. Let's see. So what is the meaning of nice abound? Oh, sorry, brand awareness. Nice inbound. At the beginning. Let's start with a nice at the beginning. Inbound. Mark inbound. An inbound marketing tip. Introduction introductorio. An nice inbound marketing tip. Un tip de marketing oh, okay. introductorio. Un buen tip de marketing Thank you. introductorio. That's the translation. Thank you. So this is an infographic, guys. As you can see, in an infographic, you can actually zoom in. Okay, the step-by-step -step small business startup guide, for example. There is nothing more exciting or scary than setting up your own business. And then you can move along the infographic and follow the images. This is very appealing to your site. Okay, when you want to start up your business or give uh, brand awareness, this is very important, the infographics. And it's the trend. Do you remember what is the trend, Jacqueline? Are you around there? Hello? Somebody? Hello? Okay. Yeah. Everybody's taking a coffee or sleeping already? The so. trend is uh, who uh, many people talk about it. Everybody's talking about that. that Everybody's talking it's, about it's, that. It's something like uh, moda? Tendence. Tendence. Okay, the ten oh, yeah. okay, so this is a trend right now using infograph. This part of the trend on social media. I don't know if you have seen it. Okay. And then you can post on social media often. This is something very used by um, entrepreneurs. Post on social media as much as you can. Now, regarding this part, I want you to mention to me three brands that you have seen on social media recently. Mm. Two brands. Yeah, you're working. Um, La Auxiliadora. <laughs> really? They have ads on social media? Uh, yeah, in Facebook and in Instagram and another. Okay. Curacao, Cura, Cura, Curacao ads. You have seen Curacao ads? Mr. Donuts. Mr. Donuts. <laughs> yes, Mr. Donuts. They're with the promotion array, right? The Donuts promotion. And not in, in, in every part. Uh, the ad says, Bukele va a dar un anuncio importante. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> nah, that is Bukele. <laughs> yes, uh, Bukele invest. Uh, Something many, many English in, in something. the banks are afraid about the Bukele decision <laughs> on YouTube. And uh, when a video starts, oh. uh, you have to learn English. In, uh, or uh, this is the way I, I earn seven thousand dollars every, every day. <laughs> Okay, el inglés que estás escuchando ahorita, yo lo aprendí en tres meses. <laughs> It's like, okay. <laughs> Eso es que hablan. Oh, sh sh okay, yes. Don't mention names. <laughs> Don't mention names right now. Yeah, that's very important. So, as you can see, post on social media. That's very important, but do it often, very often. If you're selling something. Share a variety of content, even if it's from your competitors. This is hmm, interesting. Why will you post something or share something, content, you know, from your competitors? Do you know what the worst kind of social media business pages is? Hmm. Well, besides the inactive or dead ones, those pages where all the company shares are reposts of their blog content scrolling through. 
It's an endless parade of links back to their site. It looks spammy. So what this is telling you, what we're talking about here is that many, a lot of content that you will find in, in websites takes you back to the same spot. Have you, have you been there? Have you noticed when you go to any website of any company, you click somewhere, it takes you back to their pay, to their main page. And that's yes. it is. That's yes. uh, like a link. It's a link on everywhere, right? It's a link. It's a looping link. Uh, endless. What is endless? Same thing. Without end. Without end. Very good. Thank you. It does forever. Yeah, something lasts forever. What is spammy? Spammy. Okay. Mm, it's uh, like uh, junk. Like junk mail. Like, like junk mail. Junk mail, spam. Frequently. Very good. Okay. And then you have create a content calendar and stick with it. Stick with it. Content calendar. So think about the content that you want to share when you want to create brand and make a calendar. So today I'm going to post this picture and I'm going to talk about this topic. And then next day I'm going to create this content and share it. And so on and so forth. Every day something different because you have to, you know, share something different every day, not just the same thing over and over again. Okay. Okay. It's like uh, the organizer with your post. It's more like have a plan. Yeah. Have a plan of what you want to do. And last thing, use targeted social advertising. Nowadays, um, social um, networks are charging. They are charging money for you to invest, you know, in, in brand recognition and in marketing. You can pay Facebook, you can pay Twitter. Uh, what else? And Facebook is more expensive than Twitter, I think. That's the way? No, the opposite. I'm sorry. Twitter is more expensive than Facebook. Okay. So tomorrow we will have you designing a presentation describing the benefits of investing in increasing brand awareness. Okay, you have to come up with all the um, pros, the pros of investing in brand awareness. We're going to do that here in the class in a very short period of time. Okay, I know that's like the boring part, but we have to cover all of these topics. Okay, we send the homework in WhatsApp group. Send the what? The homework? Yes. The homework. What homework? What homework? What's going to work? Yeah, maybe the presentation. Oh, that part? Yeah. It's just a question. Don't worry. We will do it in the classroom. So don't miss tomorrow's class and Fridays too. That's very important. Um, okay, I need Jacqueline to stay. Carla, a team. Aleida, if you may, please, Frank. Okay, you can stay for a little, about five minutes with me, okay? Actually, seven minutes, okay? Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. And if you were, hold on, don't leave. Sorry, don't leave. I haven't done something yet. <laughs> ah, again, guys. Sorry. Check the attendance. Yes. Thank you, Frank. Carla. Ah! Carla Eugenia Molina Barraza. Here. Marvin Jose Aguilar Martinez. Here. Ricardo Alexander Rodriguez. Here. Bert, please. Here. It's many Abigail Trejo Hernandez was not with us today. Xiomara Hernandez de Linky. Alvin Jose Silva Romero. Here. Okay. Maria Elena Tamayo Ventura. Here. Eunice de la Paz Jimenez. Here. Jonathan, Jonathan Alexander Castillo Ramos. Here, teacher. Jacqueline Giovanna Guardado Calderón. Here, teacher. Jose Ernesto Molina Juan, Melissa Beth Aguilar. Gabriel Alexander Alvarado. Here. Saida Carolina Hernández Flores. 
is not here. She left, okay. Uh, Walter Abraham Hernandez Sanchez. Francisco Adrián Martínez Villalobos. Here. Maria Soledad Gomez. Here. Thank you. Vanessa Alexandra Ortiz Díos and Aleida Raquel Vázquez Unzin. Here. Okay, good. So the ones I mentioned, if you can stay for about five minutes with me, I will appreciate that, okay? Okay. You're, you're free to go. Okay. Tomorrow. Good night. Okay, para los one-on-one sessions. Es hoy después de que termine esta clase. Okay, teacher. Good. I'll text you on the what on the chat. Okay. Okay. Good. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, Jacqueline, Marilena, Carla, Frank. Okay, Alvin, if you want to stay. Guys, do you have any questions? Uh, Ricardo, good. Thank you. Do you have any questions for me? Like, uh, are we good with Amar? No les ha quedado claro algún tema o algo de, de los temas que hemos estado viendo, que ha sido bien, la verdad. I get everything. I don't like like um, marketing topic. You don't like the marketing. It's not. I'm out of out of my my comfort zone. It's, but it's good. There, there's uh, something new to learn. In that way, I like that. Right. In general, with grammar and, and everything, I, I obviously have to um, study a little more. Hmm. But I'm doing good, I think. Thanks. <laughs> Great. Okay, that's your scope, scope of support. I think that was the name, I remember that word. Scope of support. Hmm, something like that. Okay, good. So you're, you're, I don't like too much as well, you know, some topics because they're, they sound like repetitive on, on marketing, but it's very important to learn about those. I like, I like the, these topics because uh, is the language when, uh, the business uh, use it, and and it's very very important to note it, and and, and I, I I'm very very happy with the lessons. Me too, teacher. I agree with Francisco because um, I think I would like to be an entrepreneur <laughs> in the future. In this context, I I try to get the whole context. The whole context. You know, I met I met someone this year. I was running uh, for a consular here in Mexicanos uh, with Nueva Ideas, you know. They invited me, actually, and I met uh, Luis Rodriguez. And he's, he's, like, trying to push, you know, entrepreneurs, help entrepreneurs. So I heard that, yes, entrepreneurs will have a better opportunity this coming year. 2021 is going to be a great year for entrepreneurs. Me, myself, I'm working on something like on, on my field, right, with education. So it, it works. It works. I, I, I like to hear that you're being like, what, moved? You're being moved by the classes to become entrepreneurs. That sounds <laughs> interesting. What, a pupuseria? <laughs> Remember? Like a baker, like a bakery. <laughs> a bakery. A bakery. <laughs> We talked too much about bakeries and pupuserias. Okay, good guys. So please uh, continue with the exercises. I think you don't have any problems with the uh, homework, right? In the forums, or the forums. Please make sure you. <laughs> okay. Any questions? Anything else that I could help you with? Mm. The, uh, the the this topic the phrasal verbs uh, for me is a little difficult. Oh, I mean, I think I need to 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 uh, study more about expressions or phrasal verbs. 
uh, expressions. The expressions. Yeah. Uh, think about it in Spanish. Okay. For example, <laughs> like when you're trying to explain something and you say that, for example, okay, and you list uh, some examples. It's the same thing. So think about the expressions. Starting today, when you speak okay. Spanish, start thinking, wait, I just said something. <laughs> okay. And that has to do with the topic, okay? Okay. Okay, Frank? Other thing uh, that's very uh, useful, it's uh, watch, watching videos. Watching videos on YouTube uh, for each topic and, and, and watch the, the lesson again that again watch the lesson again totally if you may, know. maybe yes maybe we don't have much time but in the uh, launch or uh, at short times when we have a uh a, a rest we can we can view the video again Excellent. Okay, thank you. <laughs> hey guys, that's totally right. Always check the video again. I mean, if you notice that you liked one specific part of the class, go back to the video and see it again. Okay, I have to go. I have to start the other session, the private okay. sessions. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good night, Good night everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night.